We're gonna do a fun little test today. You know how soft boxes, the bigger the light source, the softer the light is on the model? Well, I'm gonna try three different sizes of soft boxes to see how much difference we really see on it. I'm gonna try a 30 inch, a 42 inch, and a six foot. This is a six foot soft box here. I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than that. That's as big as a human being. I'm gonna do that with a 8600 here and I'm gonna be shooting, we're in the shade, so the model's gonna be dark, and I'll be shooting against the, the uh, light background there with where, where it's a lot lighter. So I'm gonna try to match that background with the light source here and have a soft light. So we're gonna be in the shade, so we're gonna start with darkness. So let's get started. I'm gonna use all reflective umbrellas this, to, for this experiment, so it's kind of a fair comparison, but they all have soft lighting, so let's see. This first will start with the 29 inch, basically 30 inches here. Okay, so first the picture without a flash. And now with a flash. Okay, that looked good, so now let's try the 42. And now for the big one. So this is a six foot soft light source. It doesn't get much bigger than that, <laughs> unless it's a white wall. That's nice. Look this way. Okay, now look at me. Straight on. All right. The bigger the light, the more powerful the light inside it needs to be. So I needed to double the power between the, the 30 inch and the 42 inch, and then I needed to double the power again to get to the six foot. So you need a lot of power to power one of these big ones. One of the benefits of having something this big is you can stand right in front of it and there's still enough light coming around you to hit the model. Yeah, it's soft and it's nice. You know, there's, there's good and bad. It's a big giant sail. This thing is small. This is all it goes into. That's it. This, it's an umbrella. So it gets into a tiny little thing like this, which weighs nothing and it's small. You can probably fit it in a, well, you probably can fit it in a suitcase, but in your car for sure. And it doesn't take a lot of space and it's lightweight. So something this small turns into something this big. And it's a big giant light source. So you just need a big powerful strobe to make it work. I don't really, I mean, I think a small one's fine. I think a small one looks just fine. That's why 30 inch, 29 inch, something like that is more than fine for me, what I'm doing. So, and it's portable, doesn't blow in the wind as much. It's easier to travel with. So, that's our little thing for today. Bigger is not always necessary. People try to impress people with their big equipment, but I like to travel light and small, and that's the most important thing to me. Being practical, lightweight, in and out real fast. So stay tuned for more fun with Marcus Picks. Subscribe, lots of free stuff coming up. See you around.